Hey guys, it's uh, DPH Place here once again, and uh, welcome back to the 7 Deadly Sins Idol Adventure. So uh, this uh, 7 Deadly Sins is somehow similar to the 7 Nights Idol Adventure. And uh, I have done the potential dice also for the 7 Nights Idol Adventure, and uh, I will do this also for this 7 Deadly Sins. So the heroes included here are only legendary and uh, unique heroes. So uh, before so much ado, let's uh, proceed uh, to this site that I have made. And uh, this is a blogger site, guys. Okay. So guys, this is the theoretical potential of heroes. And I've done this also on the other game of uh, Netmarble that would be the Seven Nights Idol Adventure. And uh, these uh, two games, uh, Seven Nights Idol Adventure and uh, Seven Deadly Sins have uh, similarities. Okay, so let's uh, go into this. So we have your first uh, 60 days of playing and we have also 60 days onwards. And uh, we have here the legendary heroes. And on the uh, uh, rightmost part, uh, we have here the attributes that would be int. We have your vitality, dexterity, and uh, we have your also strength. As well as I included also the names of the heroes and their avatars. And that is the same with this uh, unique heroes. And uh, we have here also some uh, one star Two stars, uh, four stars, six stars, and eight stars and above. And we have here also some notes, guys. You can read this. So, uh, for example, let's uh, pick one. Okay, that would be, for example, we have your giant girl, Diane. So, most of players have this. So, uh, at one star, we can put here accuracy for Diane. And later on, I will, I will explain why is it that uh, we need accuracy. And also on this uh, two stars, I put here also accuracy. And at four stars, that would be a combination of uh, two times accuracy and one times defense but if you have some uh, high accuracy already like for example on your uh, constellations uh, maybe you can switch this to one times accuracy and that would be two times defense and at six stars that would be uh, two times accuracy and two times defense and on eight stars that would be two times accuracy and uh, three times defense and also you have the option to build this as a full defense type unit so i have here some notes for example on this dayan Full defense is also viable if you have a high tier of a constellation. So that is the reason why. So there are many factors that affects your stats. Like for example, this a constellation and then the hero composition. So that is the reason why I always go with a hero that has an accuracy buff. Because uh, early in the game, we have some very, very low accuracy. So I will explain that uh, later on, guys. So as you uh, start up your hero... The stats of the heroes also increases. So that is why as we start up these heroes, some of these heroes don't need accuracy anymore. So I will explain this to you. I have here why accuracy. So let me read this for you guys. So even if you have a very high attack, crit rate and crit damage, when you miss the target, all of those stats are useless. Accuracy is the most important stat early in the game and uh, you need to farm more basic materials in order to increase your accuracy especially in the constellations and upgrading all of your heroes as time passes by heroes ascends to a higher stars and the higher the stars the higher will be the basic stats and that includes accuracy by the time you have high enough accuracy that is the perfect time for their designated uh, potentials there are also heroes that improves accuracy so better get them so that is, uh, for example, go there, guys, on the int uh, attribute. Because uh, later in the higher stages, uh, you will need their accuracy buffs for higher evasion enemies. Consequently, uh, your hero's designated potential will not be affected. And I have here also, uh, there is a negative approach uh, or strategy to this by using evasion down heroes. So uh, we will wait, or I will wait for that evasion down hero. And that accuracy increase buff plus that evasion down unit is a very very good tandem okay so uh, apparently the game haven't released yet a legendary hero that provides evasion debuff to enemies and uh, i would suggest to save uh, diamonds for that hero so uh the game already released uh an accuracy buff uh, unit for intelligence type and that would be gauther and uh, that i will wait for this upcoming one uh, that would be the uh, evasion debuff unit so that unit is still unknown so guys, I put the link of this blog on the description and uh, please uh, check this out. Uh, this will be your guide. Okay, so take note, this is theoretical. Okay, so at least we have a guide now. So guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, see you again on my next videos. Bye-bye.